Welcome. In this video, I'm going to tell you what to do on both of your language arts pages today. You will find these in your folder. Um, the first one here is very similar to the one that we did yesterday. Um, the first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write down my name. So make sure you put your name on these. Um, if you want to write the date, as we said in our morning work, it is 5-12-21. Okay, so um, if you remember on this one, we go through, and anytime we see a long I word, um, we highlight it. So um, remember, there are different ways to make that long I sound. One of them is with a Y. One of them is with an I-E. One of them is with the I-G-H, and another one is when we have um, the I and then a consonant and then the magic E telling it to say its name. So anytime we see one of these spelling patterns, we know that it is a long I word. I also want to remind you, I don't just want you to go through and pick out the long I words. I want you to practice reading and sounding out the whole sentences. Um, remember, we've talked in the classroom a lot about how if you go to basketball practice and you never pick up a basketball, you're probably not going to be very good at basketball. If you go to a golf lesson and you never hit a golf ball, you're probably not going to get very good at golf. Well, if all you're doing is going through and highlighting the long I words without reading the sentences, you're probably not going to get very good at reading because you have to practice to get better at it. So make sure you go through and read each sentence. So the first sentence here says, I sleep on my side, there's a long I word, side, at night, night. I sleep on my side at night. So both side and night are long I words, so I highlighted them. And then I'll go on and read the next sentence. So make sure that you read each sentence and then highlight those long I words, okay? Now on this other page today, again, the first thing I do is always the same. Take out your pencil and write down your name. Um, the first thing that you'll need to do is using a pair of scissors, cut off these letters. You're going to be looking at the pictures of the long I words, figuring out what it's a picture of, and then you're going to be putting in the different sounds, beginning, middle, and ending sound. Now remember, in our English language, um, every letter makes its own sound, but we've also been learning how sometimes when we put two or three letters together, they make a different sound. So for example, this first picture is a picture of night. So I hear the N, N is the first sound, so the first letter I'll cut out is that N. So N, N is the beginning sound in the word night. And then I know my middle sound is the long I sound, but I have to decide which spelling pattern is used to make the I in night. Well, because that's one of our spelling words this week, we know that it's the I-G-H. So you're gonna cut out that I-G-H, so now your middle sound is the long I sound. So we have N, I, and then the ending sound in night is the T sound. So the three sounds that we hear when we are saying and writing the word night are N, I, T, N, I, T, night. So here is the word night. You will go through with the rest of your letters, cut them apart, and write out the words for the rest of the long I words. These are all spelling words this week, so you should be familiar with the proper spelling, but remember, we're putting the three sounds, beginning, middle, and end. This one, we have a picture of the sky. This one is a picture of a light. And the last one's a picture of pie. When you're finished cutting and pasting your letters to make the sounds, make sure you color that picture and you can color the house any way you'd like, okay? Now, if you are normally virtual, I want you to take a picture of this and upload it um, for Mrs. Hatkoff and I. If you're normally face-to-face, -face, but we're virtual for the next few days, um, you can just put this back in your folder and bring it back to me next week so I can get you your credit for it, okay? All right, friends, I'll see you again soon. Bye.